Hi, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my take on a chicken chow mein. Um, we're going to start off with 115 mils of chicken stock. I've already, this was frozen, so that's why it's boiling away just to defrost. I've got some cooked noodles, which is 340 grams. Right, we want three tablespoons of soya sauce, three tablespoons of sesame seed oil, and six tablespoons of oyster sauce, but we don't use oyster sauce because Mark's allergic to shellfish. So we have done a bit more of each of those. You want 450 grams of chicken. I'm just using what I've got. I've um, cooked this and it's just breaded chicken strips, but you can use normal chicken breast. I'm just using up what I've got. I've got a tablespoon of corn flour and sugar. And then I've grated up, well grated, sliced one carrot. I've grated four, chopped four sprig onions and two cloves of garlic. And then we've got some bean sprouts just to add in as well. So, let's crack on. Right, let's turn that down a bit. It's a bit high. Right, for the sauce, we're just going to start by adding in the oils. Soya sauce. Whisk. I'm going to add in the corn flour and the sugar and just keep stirring till it's all whatever the word is combined and not lumpy. That does actually smell like chow mein. This is my first time trying this today, so we'll see how it goes. But so far, that smells really good. Now that's all starting to, the corn starch has all disappeared. I'm just going to add in my veggies, which is the garlic, spring onion and carrot. Just to soften up a little bit before we add the rest in. I'm actually really impressed with this so far. Yeah, it's thickening up lovely now. Obviously you just cook this till you're happy with the veggies. I am one of these that do prefer my veggies overcooked, so I will cook mine for a little bit longer. But you only literally need to do this for a couple of minutes. We're going to add in the rest. I'm going to start off with the bean sprouts because I feel they need a little bit longer because they're actually cold, where the rest of it's warm. Add as little or as much, you know, as your stir fry, you make it how you want it. I do love these, these are my favourite parts of charming. Not going to do anything else with the rest of them, are we? So. Let them soften down a little bit. I'm gonna add the chicken. Again, my chicken's completely cooked, so it's just a case of warming it up. And then we go in with the noodles. Just giving them a toss and get it coated in all that sauce. All the veggies mixed in there. 
This smells so good. I'm actually really impressed with how this has turned out considering this is my first go at making this sort of thing. I'm just fed up with the cost of living and prices for takeaways just extortionate. So I've decided I'm gonna start trying to do my own takeaways. Fakeaways. Yeah, fakeaways. And if I can make them half as good, I'll be happy. dish this up and then show you what it looks like well give you a taste test this is what it looks like all dished up mark's got sesame seeds on as i haven't and we're going to do a little taste test for you so i'll give mark his first mm. i mean it's not like a chinese but that is as good as it's really nice. Definitely worth the make. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. I don't like. <laughs>